today I am looking at some cool functions of the AI squad. I have some CSLA and some global mobilization guys over here. And over there we have some enemies to um, experiment upon. I will first tell my guys to go there. Until then, this is the enemies. And they will soon up, um, take notice of us. Uh, in a very violent way. Now, in some ways, um, you can fire, you can win battles by laying more lead down than, than the enemy does. And that's called suppression. Armor mo actually models this. And we will take a look in a second. For this, you select all. It's usually the tilde key if you haven't rebounded. It's above tab. Then you have a reticle. Uh, you know you can tell them to move around, etc. But if you hold on Alt, uh, there are some ad additional functions. Like watch, and if you scroll up one, suppress the fire. Let's, uh, let's do this. As you can see, the enemy now has noticed us. Standing by. Standing by. And they ineffectively try to fire back at us. Let's suppress them again. Suppressive fire. This is what's called winning. The enemy cannot do anything about us. Ready. Note that for suppression, you don't need to aim at a valid enemy. You can also, for example, just suppress this house over here. Let's do this. They're getting at it. Standing by. Ready. Standing by. Now, um, you might want to watch some direction for, for if you um, suggest the enemy comes from this direction. Again, select all, hold down alt, and just mouse free. And you guys will watch in the direction you pointed it. If you point behind you, that they will turn around to watch this area. If you want to revert this, you hit, uh, you select all, hit two on the keyboard, and then one. No and the, you guys will say no target, and they will return to the usual... Um, Doings of things. There's also something interesting. If your squad doesn't know an enemy exists, like this one, uh, let's see if they see somebody. Uh, I think they. Oh, yes, I saw this one. As you can see, if an enemy is known, he, you will get a small cross here and uh, option to target him. If they are not spotted, you will not. If you just aim at the guy and hit T, like Tita. Enemy spotted. Unknown contact. Your guy will generate um, a contact message and now it's targetable. Your squad no now knows about this guy. Uh, this is uh, very crucial to win firefights. If your guys know the enemy is there, they can actively fight him. So let's put everybody here. Click T, 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 and that's it. Now we can target anybody of them. Unknown contact. 400 meters, bearing 345. They are not identified. That's why my that's why the guys are not shooting back yet. Another thing to do is, if you select all, hit free, and then five. This is the free to engage. If you get your guys back information, they will now be allowed to break formation and engage enemies as they see fit. The default behavior, oh, now they are engaging the enemy and are not trying to follow me that hard. The default behavior is free, uh, is select all, free, six, disengage. This will make the, your guys only follow you but not fight the enemy as hard. If you hit free and then five, engage at will, they will focus more on firing at the enemy than following you. It allows them 
to take positions and break formation. Now, there is also maybe a vehicle you want to disable that's not currently manned. We just need a, a rocket launcher guy for this. Let's wait for our rocket launcher guy to arrive and have our rest guys um, fight the other enemies, the infantry over here. Now here is our rocket launcher guy and there is an enemy BMP that's not manned. We can see this by looking at it. With a unit selected, there is a get in option. Now how do I get him to shoot the rocket at him? You hit 2 for targets and you see a bunch of enemies have already been marked. Um, not enemies are always under zero more. The closest are always on the top, that's the BMP. We hit 1 or a scroll. Two. Fire that APC. To the rear. And you can see he's already looking at the BMP in anticipation. Now let's make him happy, select him, hit 3 and send it 3 again for fire. As you can see, taking out this rocket, and kaboom! Alrighty, we're dismissed. Oop, we need the other guy. The last thing I'm showing you today is planting bombs. Uh, I mean, charges. Let's get the Schneider guy over here. You just tell him. Where you want the bomb, then you select him, hit 6, and then he has put something, charge, satchel charge, whatever he has. You hit that. Set a charge. As you can see, he has placed a plastic explosive on the ground. Now you just need to move him away. Move 200 meters. Right. No, I will leave, I will fake the area as well, actually. You too. That's good. Now to detonate it, you hit 6 for actions, and then usually at the very back, under more, there is touch of one bomb. Alrighty, Schneider, touch the bomb. Kaboom. This is also great if you don't want to carry many things. Like a normal squad leader can doesn't have bombs, but the demolition man has. You can do this as often as you want. And they have no self-preservation, so you have to watch out for that. You can place another bomb. And if you tell him to detonate it, he will just do it. That's all for today.